Hey everyone, it's Burn Coat Nerd. Today we got a review on a surplus holster. Uh, I got this from Sportsman Guide. This is the Italian military surplus 9mm short canvas holster. Um, it is item number WX2667098. Um, the member cost on this is $13.50. Non-members, I think it's only like a dollar more. Um, they advertise this as being like new. Um, which I would have to very much agree. I think mine's brand new. It does have this little spot here. It looks like um, just got too close to something hot or uh, the sun got on it just right or something there. But um, for that price, oh well, I'm not going to fuss. I can live with that. Um, but what I did is I picked this up for my Beretta 85F. I've done a review on this gun. Um, the... Uh, Description from Sportsman Gun on this holster doesn't really say exactly what gun it's for. It just simply says Italian military surplus 9mm short, which of course 9mm short is uh, 380. Um, and if you've seen my review on the, my Bread 85, you know that uh, this particular one is actually was in the Italian military. It's got proof marks on it of um, the arsenal and all that stuff. So I thought it'd be pretty cool to get uh, what was most likely the holster it was issued with. Um, to go along with it because you know why not it does have a little attachment on the back here uh, to go on to your belt uh, not really sure how that works which does not concern me because I don't ever plan on actually um, wearing this holster I just like to have them um, goes along with the history of the gun plus it's nice to have something to put your handgun in while you put it in the safe kind of helps prevent it from getting dinged up or anything like that um, when I opened it up if you did notice there's they had put some like talcum powder or something in here um, probably just help prevent it from getting moldy um, and if you've bought old holsters before you know that's pretty common um, thing there it's just a real basic holster um, you know it's just got that little leather strap through the metal buckle um, nothing special there but for the price you know don't really expect too much read the reviews um, from sportsman guide from several people that had purchased these for the most part, um, they're getting praise on the condition, saying that they're, you know, looking great shape or never issued. Uh, there were a very few people that were unhappy with the condition. It sounds like they got some pretty beat up ones. Um, but Sportsman Guide's pretty good when it comes to uh, needing to return anything. Uh, for the most part, and I'm going to get into this here in just a second, um, I've had really good experience with them. Um, I've bought a lot of things from them. Um, so there's been a few times I've had some issues and whenever I've called up, they've always been very friendly and very quick to uh, fix it. Um, but that being said, I've had a bit of a love-hate relationship when it comes to buying uh, surplus holsters from Sportsman Guide. Um, I bought one for my uh, 92. Uh, it was an old, they advertised as French Foreign Legion holster. That one was like 8 bucks. Shut up. It's pretty beat up, but it is how they advertise it. They're out of stock of those. I was happy with that. Um, but... The problem started with, where did I put it? Here we go. This guy. Purchased this um, shortly after I bought my Bread in 92S. Um, it was advertised as being a uh, Beretta military surplus holster. That's all it said. Um, it was like 12 bucks, I think. And I was like, you know, I was ordering other stuff. So I wasn't too concerned about shipping. Figured I'd roll the dice hoping it was actually 4 92 it is not, as you can see. Um, I don't have a 92 out here, but it's way too small for that. <laughs> um, and so I made a review video, which I have since taken down because Sportsman Guide rectified the issue. Um, but I tagged them in it, and they contacted me and said, hey, you know, we'll fix it. Send us your order number. We'll give you a full refund. Didn't even have to worry about sending the holster back, which was nice. Um, so I did that. I got a refund. I was very happy with that. Very, you know, I didn't really even reach out. I wasn't going to complain about it. It was 12 bucks. Um, their description didn't really specify anything. I was rolling the dice on that. So I was like, whatever. Um, they do still have these in stock. I did not copy down the item number that these currently are. They did change the description though. It's like, all right, cool. You know, you, uh, you saw my problem. You're trying to fix it, but they fell a little short. Um, cause they now advertise this as being for the Beretta 84. Now I have an 85 in front of me, and the 84 is simply the double stack version of the 85. So let's see how this fits. Sorry guys, still no cameraman or tripod. 
or third arm. But it doesn't really fit in there too well. Um, so clearly not for the Beretta 84. Also, the Beretta 84 is a double stack. You can clearly see that this uh, mag spot here is for a single stack. Um, so, sportsman guy, thanks for trying, but yeah, close but no cigar. So that's the story on that. Another time, <laughs> I had purchased a uh, really nice looking leather holster um, for the SIG 226. That showed up, that one was I think like 25 bucks. It was brand new though, never issued. Really nice holster. Um, it's got kind of shiny leather material. It is beautiful, loved it. Um, it was advertised as a right hand holster, but you know what, it was left hand holster. And I'm not left-handed, so that didn't really do me any good. And I was like, you know what? They responded quick with that old holster. I'll contact them. Because I really wanted that holster. It's really nice looking. Um, so, you know, they sent me out a little, uh, little uh, what do you call it, packing slip. They did want this one back. This one, I think, was like 25 bucks, a little more expensive. So I, I, I got that. Sent that back. Never got a refund. So... Um, uh, that being said, uh, I never really got around to contacting them to follow up on that. Um, I'm sure if I did, they would have rectified it in some way. I was just really busy at the time, and by the time I realized I never got my refund, uh, several months had passed, so I was just kind of like, ah, um, aided on that one. Um, but I've been pretty happy with this, even despite that little hole, you know, $13.50. It's, it's just a cheap canvas holster. Um... But uh, it's really nice for what it is. Um, if you've got a Bread 85, it'd be a great uh, addition for that. I'm, the uh, fours I'm sure will fit in here too. There's you got some room for a little bit of a fatter grip. Um, also, in reading the reviews, a lot of people were buying these for uh, other guns. Um, a lot of people talked about how they got it for their Makarov. Makarov fits in here just fine so if you're wanting a canvas style holster for your Makarov this will work and it's fairly snug you know there's not a lot of jiggle room in it uh, a little bit looser than the Beretta being in there so that being said what else fits in here well who recently did a review of my CZ50 those are all over the market so I'm sure a lot of you are getting those need a holster for it this fits in there. Once again, kind of a little bit of wiggle room like the uh, Makarov, but not bad. It'd do the trick. P64, I'm getting a little smaller now. That obviously will fit, but does it fit snug? You know, eh, that one, that's a little loose in there, but it, uh, it would work if you wanted a canvas holster for your P64. Tokarev, lots of Tokarevs out there. A little too long for the Tokarev, as expected. Then I was thinking, I was like, you know what this would be a really nice holster for? And they're all over the market right now. Star BM, right? Unfortunately, I was a little surprised by this. Yeah, she's just a little too long. So uh, the BM will not work. I mean, you might be able to force it in here, but I'm not going to do that. So this will work for a couple different guns. Um, if you don't really care about it matching your gun too much, uh, nice little cheap alternative. All right, guys, thanks for watching, um, and have a good day. Bye.